Next to the Hollywood writers' strike that began today, the first industry-wide walkout by TV and movie writers in almost 20 years. 12,000 Writers Guild members are on strike, demanding a larger share of the money that producers make putting programs and films on the Internet. The first impact will come tonight. ABC's Brian Rooney is in Hollywood. Tina Fey of the NBC comedy 30 Rock walked the line in New York. You won't hear any new jokes from her. I wouldn't uh, be able to be an actor on my show if I weren't the, the, the writer of it. Jay Leno visited writers on the street in Burbank. No show for him tonight. They're not giving me anything. So I'm, you I'm a dead man. And now. Without writers, the late night comedians Letterman, Leno, and Kimmel are all going into reruns. The most immediate impact the strike will have on television viewing. The writers are up against some wealthy media conglomerates. Paramount Pictures, for instance, is owned by Viacom. And all these companies have made long-term plans to withstand a strike. They will fill the airwaves. After the late nights go dark, soap operas could have enough new material for a month or two. Sitcoms and one-hour dramas can last through the first of the year. Shows like Grey's Anatomy on ABC, Friday Night Lights on NBC, CSI on CBS. But... At some point, everything goes into repeats. So, and, and you'll, you'll find a lot of shows, especially the ones that are serialized, uh, there'll, there'll be this awkward cutoff where suddenly there's just no more new episodes. Then you'll see more reality shows, Big Brother on CBS, and some new titles, Farmer Wants a Wife. Somebody has to get fired. Celebrity Apprentice and Crown on the CW Network. Eleven mother-daughter teams competing for one title. For the writers to really hurt the industry, they'd have to be out for months, raising two questions. How much power do the writers have, and what will the industry look like when they come back? Brian Rooney, ABC News, Hollywood. In the presidential race, another candidate has been embarrassed by the conduct of a major fundraiser.